Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me in the rainbow room today. Sassy is on my desk, and so um, trying to save my tea from her. Maybe she'll get bored and move along in a moment. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me here in my rainbow yarn room today. I am just chilling recuperating from yesterday if you saw the video that went up early this morning my best friend Angela and I went to town and hung out yesterday and today I'm paying for that <laughs> I am just wore out anytime I do something fun like that the next day or two or three I am recuperating <laughs> like seriously <laughs> it does a number on me it takes a really toll on my body and I know a lots of you know what I'm talking about because you probably experienced the same thing today I'm drinking a sweet tea um, in my Care Bears cup that I got from Big Lots a few weeks ago so I'm enjoying that and I'm just crocheting um, Actually, I am crocheting on the Ursula body. Um, that would be part three of the amigurumi that I'm working on. So, I'm, I'm working on the body, but I can only work on it if I'm, you know, filming. Because I'm recording it as a tutorial for my channel. And um, so, I can only crochet on it if I'm sitting there filming it. And so, obviously, I can't work on it and make this video at the same time <laughs> so um i picked up this peaches and cream cotton that angela and i had got at dirt cheap yesterday and i'm working on her washcloth so on this one i'm just making a i'm making a large washcloth right here or, um and then i'm gonna make her some different sizes i'm gonna make some round some square you know just different sizes or whatever and then she can get a better idea of what she does like and then next time I make her a batch because I've made her a batch of washcloths and stuff several times like two times that I know of for sure so this will be the third little batch of dishcloths and stuff that I've made her but anyway that's what I'm working on today Tell me in the comments, what are you working on today? What are you up to? What's going on in your life? Are you crocheting? Are you working on totally something different? You know, do you have a different hobby that you're working on? It doesn't have to be crochet or knitting or loom knitting. It can be whatever it is that got you busy today. Tell us about it. But yeah, I had a, a blast with Angela yesterday. We had fun. And she was telling me this morning stories that we didn't share. And I was like, you better write that down so we'll remember next time we can share that. Because there's way more stories. <laughs> so we will have to get together another time. Um, a couple of people asked about her glasses. And they are cool glasses. So they have a strap on the back. And so she can have them there around her neck. But... Um, the cool thing is they split right here they're magnetized and so it's it comes apart like that and it just hangs around her neck and then she can just um, put them snap it together and put them on or whatever I didn't see her putting them on but um, she said that several years ago she got some from Amazon that were about 14 15 ish dollars but now they're like 40 bucks. So the pair that she actually had on, her neighbor had gave her. And so I looked on Timu and they have some on there. So I ordered her a pair and me a pair on Timu. So when those come in, I'll give you a review of them and see what we think about them. But anyway, we did have fun. We had a good day. Just wore me out. <laughs> I have taken naps today. She called earlier and said, what are you doing? I said, uh, me and Sassy are laid up in the bed because I can't function today. So I'm finally getting it together. Although um, Big Daddy is going to pick me up in a little bit when he gets off work. 
I'm going to be ready when he drives up, and we've got to run to Target because the hospital called and said that I have a UTI, and so I've got to go pick up my prescription. They called me in a prescription to Target, or not called in, but sent it over via computer, you know. So i got to go pick up a prescription for a UTI that the hospital says I have, and um, that's the only thing I'm doing today other than just crocheting and, um, you know, working on that Ursula body. I am recording each row as I'm doing it and explaining, you know, what's going on and what I'm doing. So that takes time to get together. So I hope to have that finish that up and have that out very soon. And then I'll just have the arms and legs to do after that so it's coming it just takes a little time to record you know and over the weekend and with the holiday you know having company and things like that it set me back recording that a little bit but yeah I'm working on it and so yeah I just picked up this cotton and thought I would uh, in the in the mid in the meantime, <laughs> while I couldn't record um, on Ursula's body, that I would just start working on Angela some dishcloths. So, yep. Now, if you have a... Okay. If you have a favorite dishcloth, um, tell me about it below. Tell me what stitch it is, what size it is, or whatever, or just where to find the pattern at. So that, um, sassy, go away. Um, <laughs> my yarn is pulling out of that little ball, and she's, um, interested in that. So, sassy, no, 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 no. Tell me about your favorite dishcloth or wash rag or whatever you call them, washcloth, below. And so, um, I can check those out just to get some ideas. But basically, I'm just doing a basic, you know, square shape. And then I'm going to do some round shapes, you know, different things just to see what she likes. And she can let me know, hey, I like this one. I didn't like that one or whatever. But, yeah, she should, I should have just been teaching her to crochet. She would never do it. <laughs> she would never do it. I'm going to be honest. Even if I was to show her how, it's not something she would sit and do. She just doesn't have any interest in that whatsoever. And that's okay, because I was like that for many years, too. I had friends... No, Sassy. I had friends that, um, you know, wanted to teach me to crochet. This is back when I had all ten fingers. Um, I had people who wanted to teach me to crochet, and I didn't want to learn. Like, no, I don't want to crochet. And so... <laughs> I just refused, and sometimes they hold me hostage and try to make me learn to crochet, and Shalita, and um, I just never wanted to, I hadn't, no, okay, it's sassy, good grief, you are a mess, cat, sassy girl, it's my sassy girl, um, I just never had any interest in learning to crochet, this here is my snuggle buddy, um, what was that? <laughs> she is all about taking a nap with me. All right, go catch them, see what they're doing. She just saw uh, Phoebe and S Sissy run back past the room. So, tomorrow is June the 1st, right? Yes, can y'all believe that? Um, and June the 2nd, Shiny Happy People come on. Is anyone planning on watching that? Um, I, I know I'm going to watch it. I'm, I'm waiting on that little docuseries to come on. So I can watch Shiny Happy People. And then June the 4th is when Joe Pickett. Season 2 of Joe Pickett comes out. And I believe we watched Season 1 of that on Paramount Plus. So... 
that's Paramount Plus that that will come on. I did watch the uh, new episode of the Doricos last night, and also, it wasn't a new episode, it was a new season of the Doricos that started last night, and then also, um, I watched the next episode of Seven Little Johnsons, love them, love watching the Doricos, so, that was interesting, and now, um, What's today? Wednesday? I don't know of any new episodes that come on or anything I'm watching right now. But usually, you know, I'm always looking to see. Did I have a new episode of something to come on? And I've been watching some YouTube. I didn't get to watch. I had like some busy days going on. Just company and different things like that. So I was a little bit behind on watching my uh, YouTube videos. Um, you know, that I'm subscribed to, so I was laying in bed and got kind of caught up on those. I have a few more browsers open on my computer with some YouTube's videos that I need to watch, but getting caught up on those, catching up with everybody's videos, and that's about what I've been up to, mostly. <laughs> Taking a nap, watching some YouTube videos. Crocheting on Ursula, recording that, and now just working on a dish rag for my friend Angela. But yeah, and um, I do want to thank you all so very much for checking out Elijah's Etsy store, and many of you made purchases from his store, and he did sell out. And so he has ordered some more of the jars, and he'll have some more probably in the next week, I would say. He'll have some more um, candles and wax melts and different things like that, whatever it is he makes. He'll have more of those in his Etsy store this next week. And who knows, he might come on with me and do a shop update. I don't know. I'll tell him that he's invited to do it if he would like to. So I do appreciate that, and Elijah does too. Um, that really did help him out a lot. As um, his job, I don't know how much longer his job is going to last. It's not going well. Um, it's a new place that opened that is super, super expensive. It's called a, it's a wellness center. And their treatments are like out of this world crazy expensive, okay? And, you know, I don't think people can just afford that now that right now. So they've gotten rid of all the employees except for Elijah, who is the um, administrator and the owner. And then they have a nurse. Everyone else they have let go and so and they've cut his hours back. He's only working like four days a week So and sometimes it might end up being three days a week If it's a you know a holiday week or something else, you know, so Yeah, he's he's looking for something else. He, he loves it there. He loves the atmosphere and Everything like that. It's just that um, you know, he's got to have more hours to live you can't live on um, three or four days a week <laughs> so um, the candle side business really is helping him a lot um, but anyway yeah he's he's looking around to see what's available you know putting in applications or whatever just because he needs more um, hours, days, or whatever to live. <laughs> anyway, and so he'll have more stuff, and we'll do a shop update video or something like that coming up as soon as he gets candles made and into the shop. 
I really like the way this is working up. It is very pretty. Like, that is going to be a beautiful dishcloth, Angela. <laughs> very pretty. I like it. Um, and she will, too, because she liked this one. And that's the one that she wanted her dishcloths in. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, if you didn't see that video, it is the video before this video. So, it might pop up in the little end screen at the end of this. Or you can just go to my channel and you find it from there. But, anyway, guys. Oh, sassy don't. <laughs> She's wanting to jump up here again because she sees my thing dangling. So she's like, oh, something to play with. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, guys, yeah, tell me below. Don't forget to tell me what you're working on and what's going on with you. Um, whew. Can't get my... I don't know what I did. I messed a stitch up. I gotta fix it. Okay. Um... Yeah, don't forget to tell me below what's going on with you and what you're working on, what's what's happening. Me and Big Daddy's going to run to Target and probably come right back home. I don't know. I want to go to Hobby Lobby. It is their week for 30% off yarn, and I need some pastel sparkle yarn. I have a project that I am right at being done with. And it needs a pastel sparkle yarn to go with it to finish off one piece of it. So I think they have a, like a little aqua blue. It's a pale, pale blue. I do have that peacock bright blue. I have that in sparkle. Um, but I need something that's more like this blue right here, that aqua, a pale blue. And I looked on the website and they do have it in that color. So, I want to run over there and get a skein of that. I don't know if Big Daddy's going to be up to running across the river. He's so tired when he comes in that, you know, he really don't want to do anything. And I don't blame him. I understand. But if he does run me over there, um, he can just sit in the truck. He don't have to get out. And I can run in and grab that sparkle yarn. I love sparkle yarn. I have a tote box right down here, actually, of sparkle yarn. And so I looked through it to see if I had any kind of pastel sparkle, and I didn't. So I want to finish up this project. It's that. It's that granny square that I've been working on. I finished it, and I'm turning it into a lovey that I think is awesome. I think it's an awesome project that I'm turning it into, and it's just something, when I was making that, something came to my mind, and I decided to turn it into this. So, we'll see. Hopefully, I can get that yarn and finish it up. And then share it with you guys. Soon, soon, soon. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you get going so I can get stuff done that I need to get done and be ready for when Big Daddy drives up to pick me up. And then I can get back home. And once he gets settled and goes to bed, I'm going to get back to recording my Ursula body tonight. Get it going. But anyway, I'm just chatting about nothing. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for, you know, coming and spending some time with me. I love that. I love spending time with you guys. And I'd love to hear what you're working on for Whip Wednesday. Mine is a crochet whip Wednesday. Yours may not be, but I'd still love to hear about it. All right, guys, so I'm going to go. And remember, it is a beautiful day to crochet. 
and I will see you all soon. And I do love the way this is working up. That is very pretty. I'm going to show you the yarn one more time. But look how that is working up. It looks so Eastery, doesn't it? I never knew Angela liked Easter colors. <laughs> it is Eastery. And um, I don't know that we ever did see the color of this. She said it was something. I think she did figure out what color it was yesterday, but I don't remember. But anyway, it's the peaches and cream. Very pretty pastel colors. I think this one, um, I did 40 st stitches across, and so it is a little wide. This might be more like a dish towel instead of a dish rag. But I'll see. See what we come up with. Bye, guys. Love you.